Hi, welcome to this video about checking regression assumptions with process for R. If you run a mediation, a moderation or a moderated mediation with a process macro for R, you are running regression models. And regression models have assumptions and you have to check them. Unfortunately, process doesn't check the regression assumptions for you. So in this video I will be showing you different ways how to deal with this problem. There are basically three approaches. You could run a comprehensive test of the assumptions, you could use robust regression, or you could use robust methods within process. And at the end of the video, I will give you my recommendations how I deal with this problem. The first approach, a comprehensive test. You check which regression models process has used, rebuild them in R, and check the regression assumptions there. So, four steps. First step, you run process. Second step, you extract the models. That is, you look in the output which regression models process has used. Third step, you replicate those models in R. And then, as a fourth step, you check the regression assumptions in R. In this example, I have run a mediation, so process model number four. And here we find the two regression models process has used. With a mediation or a moderated mediation you have at least two models, with a moderation you have one model and you have to rebuild those models. So here the first model is mediator predicted by the independent variable, the second model dependent variable predicted by independent variable and mediator. So those are the two models we have extracted from the process output and now we run regression for those two regression models. And now we can check the regression assumptions for both regression models by analyzing those two fit objects. If you want to know how to check the regression assumptions in R, there's a link to a tutorial about that in the description of this video. What's important? You have to run exactly the same models in R which you have been running in process. For instance, if you use mean centering in process, you should mean center in R. In order to check whether you have run exactly the same models, I would compare the results. So I would look at the results from process and at the results after you have extracted the models and rerun them in R and make sure that the results are the same. The second approach, using robust regression. Robust regression is a family of techniques that is robust against outliers because outliers can massively bias your results in a regression. In order to do that, you need these four steps. First, again, you run process. Second, you extract the models. And third, now you don't run an ordinarily square regression, but you run robust regression for the models you have found in process. And as a fourth step, you compare the results. If the results from the robust regression more or less match the results from the OLS regression that process has run, then your results are robust against outliers. If you want to know how to run a robust regression in R, there's a link to a video about that in the description of this video. In addition to running a robust regression, you should check linearity, because robust regression doesn't protect you against the possible existence of a nonlinear relationship. So I would use scatter plots between the relevant variables. The third approach you could use robust methods within process. At least for some assumptions, in process, there are methods implemented that are robust. When it comes to normality, a robust method would be bootstrapping. You need a sample size of at least about 50. And if you use bootstrapping, you don't have to care about normality anymore, because bootstrapping doesn't need normality. You can request bootstrapping results by setting this model BT parameter to 1. Then, at the end of the output, you get an additional table bootstrap results for regression model parameters. In the case of a mediation model, there are two tables, because a mediation has two regression models. Important are the last two columns, because those are the limits of the bootstrap confidence interval. And if the zero is not part of this confidence interval, then you have a significant result. When it comes to the homoscedasticity assumption, you could use a robust standard error, for instance HC4, or you could use bootstrap, because bootstrap is at least somewhat robust against heteroscedasticity, or you could use both. So you could 
request bootstrapping and or you could request a robust standard error. In general, I do both. Now we look at the results with a robust standard error. Here with a standard error we see HC4, so this is a robust standard error. And the T value and the P value are based on this robust standard error. So those P values are robust against possible heteroscale elasticity. In addition, again, you should check linearity. That is between the independent variable and the mediator, the independent variable and the dependent variable, and the mediator and the dependent variable in the example of our mediation model. For moderation, you would check linearity between independent variable, dependent variable, moderator, dependent variable, and interaction and dependent variable. When it comes to outliers, you could look at box plots of all the relevant variables. However, that's not optimal because with this you can only identify univariate outliers. But what you can find this way are observations where the combination of different variables is atypical. If you want to check whether you have multicollinearity, you could look at the correlations between the predictors. Now to my recommendation. How do I deal with those assumptions when running a process model? Nowadays I run a robust regression and in addition I use robust methods within process. Robust regression, I replicate the regression models with robust regression and check whether I get more or less the same results. And robust methods, I request bootstrapping and I request a robust standard error. And in addition to check for possible nonlinearity, I look at the scatter plots. So that's it for checking regression assumptions if you're running process for R. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button below this video.